Chapter 2 of The Great Gatsby opens with a description of the Valley of Ashes. This is a dismal location between the eggs and New York City. This place is coated in gray dust, and it's a dumping ground for New York City. There's an enormous faded billboard of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg. On the billboard are two large eyes peering out from enormous yellow spectacles. Tom and Nick are taking the train in New York City. Tom wants to introduce Nick to Myrtle Wilson, his mistress and the wife of garage owner, George Wilson. The Wilson's garage is unprosperous and it's bare. Myrtle makes excuses to meet up with her sister and joins Tom and Nick on the train to New York. Once in New York, they take a taxi from the train station. Myrtle insists they stop and buy a puppy from a street vendor. Her sister, Catherine, and her friends join them at the apartment. Everyone begins drinking excessively. Myrtle shows off the puppy to her friends as a new accessory. This is superficial. She doesn't have any real affection for the puppy. Myrtle begins to complain about her life and about Tom's marriage to Daisy. Infuriated, she would say Daisy's name over and over again. Tom strikes Myrtle, breaking her nose. The party comes to an abrupt end. Nick gets out of there and takes an early morning train back to Long Island. Now, the Valley of Ashes is a symbolic place literally covered in the waste of capitalism. Consequences of the pursuit of wealth. For example, Dr. Eckelberg's faded eyes. George Wilson later refers to these as the eyes of God. This suggests that spirituality and religion are long forgotten institutions. This reflects an immorality and the corruption of the novel. Geography is used as a motif for differentiating social classes. For example, this concept of class, upper versus lower. George seems content with his station in life. Myrtle, like Jay Gatsby, longs for attention and affluence. Now, during the party, Myrtle pretends as if she's a wealthy socialite. She mimics what she perceives to be the attitudes of the wealthy. It's clear the puppy has no real meaning to Myrtle or Tom. There's absolutely no acknowledgement of the affair's immorality. Despite her eagerness, it's clear Myrtle can't pull off this facade. Tom reminds Myrtle of her place. You're poor, stay there. This, of course, displays his brutishness.